and welcome to the very first episode of Rosewood Reloaded, my Patreon server. My name is Eros, and today I'm going to give you a little tour of what has been going on here in the server since this is the very first episode, and it's always so hard to start these series, especially since we've been playing for almost a month so far, but I'm very excited to start the series here on Rosewood again. Um, that was one of my favorite series, um, so I guess this is a season two? Season two of Rosewood? Because last season was my vanilla Rosewood, and now this is a slightly modded version of Rosewood. So I'm so excited to finally show with you guys. Um, and if you want to join the server, I uh, have the info down in the description box below. And you can check that out and see if that's something that you want to do. But right now, we are in the spawn type of area. We have another portal over there, which we've been working on another hub. So maybe we'll go check that out in just a second. Um, but let's see. We have our little... <laughs> we have some animal pens over here. It's going to be fancy in the future, guys. Don't you worry. But we have a bunch of sheep. Pink sheep, mind you. We have a bunch of pigs. We have some cows in here. Um... And then over this way is our community center slash town hall slash homeless shelter area that Leroy has been working on. And it looks absolutely amazing. Look at it. It's so beautiful. And inside here we actually have, let's see, what does it say? Warning. Construction. Proceed with caution. Oh, no. It's not safe. It's not safe. We're going to go in anyways. Hopefully everything's okay. Is everything okay? Everything's going to be fine. Okay. So let's go through here, and we have Eros's kitchen! So here's my kitchen <laughs> for pizza lovers only, only. So here's my kitchen here in Spawn, where anyone can come over here and cook some stuff if they want. And Mommy actually made a kitchen over that way as well. So we have kitchens all over the place, um, because Pam's Harvest Craft is one of the mods that we have here on the server. We don't have very many mods, but the ones that we do are absolutely awesome. So there's, oh, there's eggs in here! There's eggs, there's tomatoes, <gasps> cheese and tomatoes use those two things to make pizzas yes we're going to be making lots of pizzas here on the server right now i'm eating a uh, potato salad and baked potato because that's how i roll right now but one day one day we will make more pizzas um but over here let's see we have a bunch of leroy stuff over here so if you guys are looking for anything on the server uh, i'm sure leroy won't mind if you just come and take his stuff just kidding don't take his stuff ask don't take- ooh, he's got a lot of stuff though. Look at all that gold! Look at all that iron! Oh my gosh. Um, we actually have, um, ore that spawns in the nether, so they give you double these stuff here. So this is nether lapis ore, and it gives you double lapis, which is awesome. So, look at that. Look at that. It's so cool. It's so cool! Um, we're gonna head out here, and we're gonna show you the very first pizza that we've made here on the server! We have a nice little monument for it. It's right over here. You might have seen it as we pass by. Um, but as we were in there, um, you might have seen that Firewolf went to sleep. And if more than, I think, uh, 33 or 40% of the people on the server are sleeping, um, then it will turn into day. So not everyone has to sleep. So you don't have to be like, sleep, please. You just need to have a couple people sleep. So that's really nice. I like that a lot. Um, but it's right now it's like 4 a.m. So only <laughs> Firewolf and myself are on. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay. More people play. It's okay. Um, but Rosewood Pizza, 8, 13, 16. This is the very first pizza that we ever made here on the server. It's very special, and you can see Coral Reef. I wonder if I should turn off all of my waypoints. I wonder how annoying that is. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's turn all these off so you guys don't keep seeing them everywhere. And there we go. A nice little map area. You guys can see what I have seen so far, and I've seen many things. I have seen all the things. Um, but yes, very first pizza we made here on the server. We are all very proud of this. This is a very special moment to us here on Rosewood, <laughs> and we are pizza lovers. Um, we have a little enchanting table over here set up, a little anvil. Oh yeah, and this way we have a little housing district that has started out over here. We have, I think Duchess has a home over here, and I have a home over here. But I'm actually working on a base at the moment, and Duchess um, is working on a base too. But this is just a little starter type of home. So here is Duchess's house in here. It's very awesome. And I'm just going to be doing like a little short tour type of thing for this episode. In the next episode, I'll probably work on my base a little bit. And then, ooh, she's got honey over here. So I'm just going to kind of like <laughs> briefly show you guys some stuff that's going on. But yes, oh, look at all the stuff. She has a bunch of storage over here. All the things. All the things. Obsidian. So many obsidian. This is so cool. I love, oh, I love storage drawers. I love them. Storage drawers are so nice. They're so awesome. And then if we head over to this way, um, you'll see my little sturdy house. My little sturdy housey area here in the lavender fields. Oh, I love biomes of plenty. It's so nice. 
So let's go this way and here we are. This is Eros's derpy starter house and I kind of like I wanted to make like a like a house that kind of like had trees for like a ceiling. I, I don't know what I was thinking um but I, it kind of looks cool. It's kind of nice um but here's my derpy starter house. So we can come in here and it says oh Fyro says I gotta go for a while. I'll be on later. All right see you heart. <laughs> but this is my derpy starter house. Here's my derpy bed and my derpy bookshelves and my derpy chest and here's my derpy couch and these things um these are pink curtains um they're actually doors but I'm using them to close and open my windows. <laughs> it's so nice it's so cool look at that. Oh, I don't know I'm I'm very amused by like the little things in life um but here's my derpy kitchen setup. Um I have a bunch of food in here. <gasps> I have pizzas. I have some pizzas in here, gonna take some pizzas, yeah. And then I have a tiny little basement down in this area, just some stuff. I Maybe I should move some of this stuff, because I actually have a base now. Look at all this dirt I have. I have all this dirt, and I have some juice. Ooh, and I have a bunch of tomato soup. I actually really like tomato soup in real life. Tomato soup is good. But here is my derpy starter house, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else in spawn that we should check out right now? Um, I know there's a tiny little village um, that naturally spawn next to spawn <laughs> and oh what's this oh this is new this is new this is new <gasps> it's new what is it <gasps> this is nice i don't know but it's cool <gasps> so cool i think joel actually made this this looks awesome <gasps> nice little pathway area and we have some walnuts over here so let's pick up some walnuts very delicious and very nice and there we go and here we are, back at spawn. <laughs> um, and then, let's see, the village area is over here, and I know Firewolf is working on a fire station, um, so I'm sure people will make all kinds of different, like, role-playing type of buildings and different shops over here in this area, but let's go through here, and we can show you guys the derpy village of derpiness. I wonder if he started on anything. Let's go, like, sneak over here and see if he has actually started the fire station. I know he worked on building a build in creative and then he's gonna go and build it on here. So, how's he started? We have a bunch of farms over here too. <laughs> a bunch of natural farms. I don't know where he started. I knew he wanted to do it somewhere around this area, but I don't know where it is. Yes. And this mod pack actually has um, a whole bunch of sounds. So if you're hearing like frog sounds and things like that and munching on pizza sounds, uh, that is part of the mod pack, which is pretty cool. Um, you can actually hear like birds and owls and some different animals too, but there's no animals right now. Ooh, somebody's building something over here though. Ooh, what's this? Future site of Bubba's fish shack. Ooh, somebody's gonna build a fish shack. That is awesome. Gonna build a fish shack. And then over here is the little orchardy type of area that Mommy has been working on. Yes, we have someone on the server named Mommy, and she is amazing. Um, and we have our little community farm slash Mommy's farm area, and there's some piggies in here. And over here is actually the kitchen that she has been working on, which is awesome. Kitchen, community, kitchen, please help. <laughs> Everybody, work together. We're gonna make this kitchen beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's changed. <gasps> look at all this stuff. Planted items, fruit, trees, etc. Mixing bowls. Oh, look at all the stuff. Look at the stuff on the spice rack. You can, like, display all of your things. Oh, my pizza. <gasps> I want my pizza back. Oh no. Okay, um, 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 plum jelly. Okay, we need, we need to take this. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, everything's gonna be fine. Just, just one second. One second. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Had to get my pizza back. But look at all this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> this is so awesome. Look at all these little jellies that you can use to make some sandwiches. So we're going to place these back because it was a mistake. It was a mistake. Um, but then this stuff over here is the cooking for blockheads type of stuff that will help you uh, cook some foods with Pam's Harvest Craft if you don't want to do the crafting recipe. So you can kind of like go in here and if you have everything that you need for the recipe in your inventory or in like the fridges that you have around it. Like so, um, you should be able to just click on here and make it. So, if we wanted to make an apple jelly sandwich, we need a cutting board, which we don't have right now, but let's see. What about this? Oh, we can make an apple pie. <gasps> there we go. We made an apple pie. Now we have an apple pie. It's delicious. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> um, and I think that's all for spawn for the moment that I want to show you guys. And people are working on a place called Bunny Bay, especially Duchess and Firewolf, which starting to look amazing. I've seen a little bit of it. I don't know if I'll show you guys today, but what I am going to do 
is we're gonna check out the nether hub <laughs> that we've been working on. We've been working on digging it out, and it's crazy. Oh my gosh, we have so much nether rack now. So much nether rack. Okay, let's go through here. And we have a special person over here. We have the black market trader. And this guy is pretty special. Let me open up my backpack because my inventory is full of things. Um, we're gonna put some stuff in here. And what he will do, he has a very special trade right now. Psst, I got something you need. And then in here, we are <laughs> he is selling for one diamond, 16 flowering grass blocks. And these are some of the items that we're using to build our nether hub. But they're kind of rare to get. And we didn't want to destroy like the, f the flower island biome if we ever found one. So we made a special trader who's over here. And he's going to sell us these grass blocks that we can use to make the nether hub. So I think that was awesome. So thank you very much, sir. Um, and there's some more stuff over here. We have... <laughs> 47,917 netherrack in this drawer right here. We have another lot, a lot of netherrack. And then if we go, let's see, not up this way, but if we go around here, you can actually see that up in the ceiling area, we have our nether hub started. And here we are. Look at that. It's insane. It's crazy. Um, Part of the mods that we have make the nether bedrock on the top and the bottom bedrock on the overworld flat. So that is very nice. So here's the start of our nether hub. And we're going to make this really awesome tree. And we're going to have a lot of this like special flowering grass around. It's going to look beautiful. And I can't wait. We have some ideas and plans and things. And I'm very excited to show you guys them. But that is your sneak peek for now. So we're going to head back down. If I can remember, how do we get down? Oh yeah, and here is our pellet. Here's our pallet that we have of the items that we want to use, and these are our donation chests where people can come here. Oh, there's tacos in here. <laughs> there's tacos, but people can come over here. Oh no, you need silk touch. You need silk touch, everybody. Everybody, you need silk touch to break flowering grass blocks. Um, but tacos, yummy tacos. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so much marble in here. This is gonna be awesome. So we can use this to. Oh, so much marble. Uh, use this to build. Build another hub in here is our pellet that we use of the different items that we want to build. It's going to be a purpley, pinky, whitey, naturey, gardeny, magical type of another hub. But it's going to be very exciting. So we're going to head back down and I'm going to go to my base and show you guys what I've started up so far. And I'm so excited to show you guys. But how do I get down? I think it's over here. I found it. I did it. I'm winning. And here we are at the start of my new and improved Lady Lair 2.0. So last episode, or last, not episode, but last season of Rosewood. I mean, it's really awesome Lady Lair. And we're going to do something similar to that in this season. But it's going to be bigger and better than it ever was before. So here is the start of a little entrance that I might change in the future. But inside, I am very proud of what I've worked on in here. I'm so excited. I have all my materials. I've been gathering up a bunch of stuff. So we have so many things over here. And here is the very first room that I've worked on. And I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be so pretty. But here we are. And then over here, it leads to like a nice little like watery type of area. And I'm growing some sugar cane over here. So we're going to pick that up. Because we're going to need a ton of bookshelves in the future. And I'm sure we'll need like sugar and stuff for cooking too. And let's get this stuff. We're going to get all the sugar cane. All the sugar cane are belong to me now. Yes, I did it. Um, but it, uh, here we go. And then down here, I've been digging out this hole. And this hole is going to go pretty deep. And this is where I'm going to have my underground base. So this is like the room. And then down here will be like a giant hole. Kind of like a window into the lady lair. <laughs> so I'm not sure how deep it's going to go. Um, and I also made this really awesome chandelier type of thing. And look at this. Oh, so cool. So many things. It's so naturey and cool. I do want to add some, like, flowering blocks, too. Um, like the flowering oak leaves into this, like, some of these leaves as well. But this is just, like, the start of stuff. And I'm so excited to show you guys more. Um, but this episode, I just kind of wanted to give you a little tour of what I've been doing. So I'm going to work on digging up some more stuff. And the next episode, we'll actually do some building and things. Um, but let me know what you guys think. And if you're excited for it, season two of Rosewood. <laughs> um, a slightly modded version of Rosewood, which is very cool. I love it. Um, but I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying and are very excited, just like me. And remember, 
we have flower bands. We have flower bands. <laughs> All right. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.